When Nick opened the door only to see an empty flat, he knew once again that he had failed to keep a partner. He couldn't say that he hadn't seen it coming. They barely spoke over the past few months, and he kept hanging out with his mates until dawn. He could not give her the commitment she was so desperately wanted, and he saw her eyes turn from hope to despair. Every time a partner tried to move forward, Nick would pull back and hide his emotions behind all the arguments that were meant to come. Settling down seemed out of reach because he always felt that the passion he saw through their connections would quickly fade when they found out he had no purpose in life. Ever since his early teens, Nick had attracted endless affection from classmates to his parents' friends, mostly because of his stunning presence. Making it easier for him to wander between relationships, but the affection he was used to receiving slowly diminished over the years. Well, considering he is almost forty years old and still struggling to hold down an entry-level job, it would be no surprise. After locking himself up in his empty apartment for days, mourning his newly lost lover, Nick was ready to try his luck yet another time, to start a new relationship and probably a new job. You should really think about growing up and keeping a job, Nick. That was the last word Zoe had for him. And yes, she was right as always. Not really, because his landlord had informed him that he would be kicked out of the apartment if he didn't catch up with his rent soon. So there he was in the dean's office, bragging about his experience in education. He could tell from the dean's expression that he was clearly not buying it, but Nick got the job anyway. Mainly because the school's last PE teacher had resigned by phone a few days before, without giving any reasonable explanation. Whatever, at least it pays. Nick wasted no time in calling his mates to celebrate his achievement at Des and Co, the most popular cocktail bar in town. Hey, congrats on your new job! They seemed happy for him, but Nick knew they were probably taking bets on how long he could keep this job before he arrived. What's the average gas for your bet? Nick asked, clearly not mad. Well, four weeks. You do need to get some paychecks, don't you? The answer is a hot yes. He would have to. He had made no decision to resign, but he knew himself too well to even consider holding on to anything. Hopefully, the job wouldn't take up too much of his time. And right now, getting drunk and late were the most important matters. Nick let out a sigh as he started to dodge around, hoping to detect someone he could feel comfortable with, someone who would probably have a similar mindset when walking into the bar. Across the counter, Nick noticed a middle-aged gentleman sitting quietly with a group of three, smiling attentively at his soon-to-be drunk friend's limp jogs, and holding a glass of juice. He tried his best to feign some interest, but Nick knew the man's thoughts were long gone. Weirdo. Who would pay twenty bucks for a glass of juice in the best cocktail bar with people he had no interest in spending time with? Certainly not Nick. Nevertheless, Nick walked over and said hello to the man, just because he looked lonely, and that was a perfect signal for an easy hookup. Go find someone else, young man. You are not for me. The man broke off his mumbled greeting, unimpressed. I could tell that you were haunted by your own thoughts all night. Perhaps some refreshment would do you a favor. Nick winked again, taking the refusal as a challenge. One, two, three. The man looked back at Nick for a few seconds without saying a word, and then shook his head slowly. At least the name, Nick persisted, still not willing to take no for an answer. Martin, feeling the questioning looks of his friends, the man cracked a tiny bit and answered Nick's question impatiently, hoping that Nick would finally leave them alone. It sounded like a fake name, but there was no point in insisting if he was not here for the same thing. So Nick waved goodbye and rejoined his mates for more booze. Before he could find another potential target, his friend decided to call it a night. After all, it was Wednesday, and they all had families to look after. Frustrated but understanding, Nick split with the group and had a few more beers, sitting alone and quietly watching the men who addressed themselves Martin with curiosity. The man glanced back at him a few times, but when he realized that Nick was not going to speak to him again, he just shook it off and continued his night. His friends were all wasted by 11 p.m., so he had to call Uber for each one of them before driving himself home.
What a sweetheart. With the new job starting at 8.30am the next day, it was time for Nick to get some rest too. Waking up early, Nick felt nauseous as he prepared for work. He had always been more nervous around kids, probably because he could not even imagine having or raising a child of his own. But there was no choice except to move his lazy ass and get paid. Once he arrived at the school and actually spent some time with the pupils, he felt that his anxiety began to ease. Being in their late teens with relatively good manners, it was not too difficult to get along with the kids. It was definitely much better than he had imagined. After the first introductory lesson, he was able to return to the teacher's office and meet some of his new colleagues. They exchanged names and greetings, all of them friendly. With more points to the job, Nick decided to add another week to his mate's bat. Just then, a perfectly tanned man walked in with a warm smile, his eyes still fixed on a stack of papers. I'd like you to meet our most popular history teacher. Come here, Martin. A tiny lady with dark curls spoke to him in a sweet voice, determined to make a good first impression. It was a gentleman from the bar. Ah, thank you very much, and nice to meet you again, Martin. With a quirk on his lip, Nick shook the other man's hand firmly with an almost unnoticeable squeeze. Now, this is really interesting.